Hi YouTube, um, and welcome to a, a shunt project update. Um, I'm starting here with the uh, the amorous couple on show, <laughs> um, just to keep the shunter out of view. Um, now this update is probably um, overdue um, in terms of, well when you see it, um, you may think it's finished, um, but work progressed fairly quickly on it once uh, once I've got the kit um, and it just flowed and just went together nice well within reason um, and I didn't really um, pause to do um, any sort of update in between <coughs> um, excuse me I got a cold um, but uh, yeah it's gone well um, it's not fully finished yet um, but hopefully um, you'll get the gist of uh, the direction it's um, it's been heading in um, so I'll, uh, I'll show it to you and uh, here is uh, the common band makeshift uh, rust and shunter um, so yeah there it is um, like I say it's not finished um, I'll go through uh, how it's not finished and things like that um, but <coughs> um, it does look a lot different um, to how it looked in uh, in the last updates um, before it was all the um, just the plastic parts have been put together, um, but like I said, since that it um, it just it just went smoothly. Um, right, uh, let's uh, let's have a talk through. Um, now, in the last update, um, it didn't have any of these um, detailed bits. So, for, exa uh, for example, there's the exhaust there on the top. There's an air tank and some ladders. Um, these have been added now. Um, now the reason for the ladders um, here, there is actually some bonnet doors up the top, um, so ladders could be of use. Um, but the main reason is to cover the join between the bonnet and the cab. Uh, it wasn't the smoothest of cuts, um, but with the ladder pressed flush up against there, um, you know you can't even see a join. So I've added the ladders there in the corners. Uh, but like I said, there is bonnet doors on there, so they could be of use. Um, and then here on the side you can see the air tank now originally with this kit and on my other ones these are mounted um, underneath the chassis uh, underneath the running plate sorry <coughs> um, but it's been mounted on the side of the running plate on this uh, project and that's mainly because when I fitted the bonnet um, I had to cut out a little piece where a raised section of the mortar needed to slide up um, under the bonnet um, so there was a hole there, um, but with the uh, the addition of this air tank there, and on the other side there's the toolbox. Um, it covers those uh, covers those holes up nice. Um, and then the exhaust, um, I'm quite impressed with how I made this exhaust. This here is actually made from um, a broken football pump needle. Um, one of my boys came to it the other day with me bent it. Uh, it was no good. And I'm glad I kept it because it has actually got the little um, air hole in it, you know, for the football pump, and it just acts as like a little, um, you know, just a little exhaust pipe. Um, so I chopped the end off, and it's uh, it's fitted in the top of there quite good, I think. I think it suits it. Um, so yeah, that's the addition of them. Um, obviously, the other thing that's happened, it's been painted. Um, now this was just given an all over um, black primer with some Halfords um, you know, spray paint um, and I don't know if you can make out but how the paintwork has finished um, it's a bit dark with it being black but if you can see on the bonnet there it's kind of mottled and a bit patchy um, now I did this outside and I probably did it too heavy in places and lighter in other places um, but the end result has given I mean I don't know what you think um, it's given quite a weathered, faded, you know, appearance. Um, and I, my initial thoughts were I'm going to have to wipe it down and and do it again. Um, but I like it, and I think it's given quite a natural look, so I've left it, um, and I've just worked with it. Um, if you look around the exhaust there, you know, it's a bit heavier there, like, um, you know, fumes. Um, then it looks a bit weathered across the top. Um, so it's just come out nice, and I'm going to leave it like that. Um, I'm so a bit lucky, really. And um, then obviously I've picked out the buffer beams in red, um, as per that rusted photograph, um, and then everything else in grey. 
Um, and then I thought, you know, the rest from there would be easy, you know, I'd just slide it over the motor. Um, but then if I just push it round into a bit more light, I'll just bring it over here. But then um, the chassis um, caused an issue. Uh, if you remember in other updates, I was, um, you know, I was modifying them, the original kit. Um, I ended up getting some model filler. Um, it's to say I wasn't quite successful in using that as a beginner. Um, I could have carried on using them, um, but the work just seemed to be piling up. So the chassis, that you can see under there, the axles, um, is actually a coach bogey. Um which only needed ever ever so slightly trimming on each end to fit you know between the ladders and the buffer beam um so which was a good do really um because a it was a lot easier and b it's quite um authentic you know it's quite uh prototypical um so yeah so i fitted those and then it's all just gone together it's all just you know i've had to, i haven't had to fit the the uh the motor in there um, it's a snug enough fit for it to look after itself um, and then added an M coupling on the back just there um, and then I thought it was finished but that's when the other problem started um, the running um, since building this this motor does not like point work at all um, before when it had the original underground Ernie body on it it ran like a dream over points um, but it's really really annoying um, I mean really really annoying so much so that I don't want to use it it annoys me that much um, I mean it's it's fairly light whether I could add weight in there if there's room or not I really don't know um, but yeah so that's annoying um, there is also a hole in the front there for where the LED goes um, but I'll show you some running clips at the end um, but it's by no means finished. It's going to get a slight weathering on the axles, uh, a bit more detail. Then I want to get um, a lamp for the front, um, and then it should be finished. You know, a couple of transfers. But once it's finished, it'll get a final update, um, and then you'll be able to see it in all its finished glory. So anyway, uh, I hope you like it. I hope you think um, it's come out well. I'm happy with it. Um, I think it's uh, fairly close to that rusting image that I've been working from. Um, would I do it again? Yes, with a bit more planning next time. But now I've done it once, I'll be a bit more confident. Um, but yeah, I like it. So anyway, until the next update, it should be the final one, you know, weathering and other detailing bits. Um, it's goodbye, and I'll leave you with some shots of it in work in progress. All right, thank you. Bye-bye.